son's wife because he lives in a different state, right? He lives in a different state. So we live in Georgia. His son lives in North Carolina. So mm -hmm. we, oh, I, first of all, he's very protective over his son. So I didn't really meet him until he knew that he wanted to be with me or so he thought, you know. Um, and I met him, you know, he came for a little bit in the summer and then, then he's like, oh, well, he's going to live with us in high school. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, and that's like a year and a half from now, but still it's like, I, I've never lived with a child. Like you didn't tell me that. I didn't know that. Yeah. So why am I supposed to be just so happy about it and, and like, I just love this kid. Like, it's mine. No, I don't really know him. Mm -hmm. That's something that we would have had to work on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, the way they had you on, on, the, on the show, it was like, you were saying, oh, it's a deal breaker, period. And he's like, but you, they didn't really get to see the reasons behind it. And now you're Thank getting you. to explain why. So can y'all please lay off my girl? <laughs> Thank you. Please lay off. I mean, the because... Okay, the Airbnb thing was a little wrong. Okay, so what <laughs> I was saying... No, it was a little wrong, but I still understand why, you know. But Yeah. <laughs> well, what I was basically saying was, you never told me yeah, about this situation, so why don't you guys just get an Airbnb? Because you didn't think I was good enough to meet him a long time ago, so get an Airbnb, and then when you feel like I'm good enough, to be in your life for life and your son can come live with us because he wasn't really saying oh you know zion's going to come live with us and i'm going to make you my wife and we're going to be a family that's not what he was saying he was acting like he was going to audition me to be a stepmom and if i didn't do a good job i was out of here so i was like well why don't you guys get an airbnb and just do your own thing okay that makes sense. so people didn't get the full story yeah. That's the, that's the beauty of editing, I tell you, boy. <laughs> right. And then the whole F them stepkids. Hey, I was just getting upset. <laughs> hey, you was like, put, put it, what is it when they say you put your ass to the fire? <laughs> I know. Okay, so hashtag F them stepkids. We Everybody were. was saying hashtag F them kids. That was from the parents, the real parents. I don't have any kids, okay? So that was from the parents. So I just kind of you know, add up my own little twang to it. Oh, you can't make that one right, boo. <laughs> <laughs> people, people didn't like it, but I was really, like, I really was kidding. If Mike were to give me a ring and make me a wife, then maybe I would be a stepmom. But I'm not just about to be a stepmom and nobody's wife. Mm. Okay. Period. Period. <laughs> 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 so I'm about to see if, did Ashley go live again? Wait, Mike, Make that a trend, F them step. We will not make F them step kids a trend. <laughs> but no, I'm glad that you're able to tell your side, you know, instead of having people narrate it for you. <laughs> Me too. That's understandable. Yeah, see, everybody's understanding, you know, they're getting it now. Yeah, I see that. Like, yeah, I'll accept your kids if you make me a wife, but I'm not about to be no. No, it's, it's one thing being a baby mama. Like, that's, you know, you're a baby mother. Like, you have this man's kids. But to be a stepmama and you ain't even married me? No, ma'am. No, sir. Like, that's not what I'm about to do. Somebody said, how does the child's mother feel about what you said? Does she watch the show or? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, it is sorry. time for me to have a drink. Yeah, like, I'm not even... Okay, <laughs> that question. I can't um, even get into that. I remember Tamika from YouTube. Oh, yeah, Between Women. This is, this is Winnie. Say hi, Toya. Hi, Winnie. Let me see. Pay attention, guy. She's been... Oh, why is Mike being so disrespectful on live with Whitney? Oh. Oh, what is he doing? Yeah. Let, us, let us know. <laughs> you don't want to get on me. Y'all about to get on my talk. I get the tea. Hold on. Hold on. Girl, I got the ponytail on. I'm not even watching Mike at this point because he's so like in his little zone about what I've been doing on my days, and you know he can continue to to be whatever he is. 
Mike is on his best behavior, please. Oh, maybe somebody was just saying that to be funny. <laughs> well, he better be. Um, Look at Mimi. Mimi Shell. <laughs> Boo uh -huh. He, her, and Rick got the men. These things are going so fast. I feel like an old person. I'm like, wait, what? I know. I can, I can bet. Like, I can't talk and read. So. How old? People are saying you're 25. I am actually 27. I just turned, wait, no, I just turned 28 in November. <laughs> I forgot, but no, I just turned 28. Um, I love and no, I don't have kids, so it was different. And I don't like no damn Barney. Y'all need to stop talking about how I look. I That's you look rude. Who said you look like Barney? Spill the tea. We're not talking about the baby mama. No, we're not talking about the baby mama at all. Hey, can you show where you are? Because they say that my I, Hey, I'm in my own zone, okay? Ain't no telling who house I'm at. Right, listen, me and Ashley are at Mike's place in Victoria, and Shay is not here. <laughs> I can go out there and... Mike, uh, um, Kamika, and Ashley are at a place that I decorated for Mike. So if everybody wants to know that... That bed I picked out, but I'm not there. Well, <laughs> dang, whoever said that straight violin, she is one of the finest girls I know. Tell her, hey. <laughs> yes. Can you see if Ashley's back on live or she, I think so. Ashley disappeared. I'm gonna go try to. Well, we're going to see if she's on. Oh, you're on. So she's on my Where's Rick? Is Rick going to get on live with me? I want to see if Rick going to get on live. She's with Rick. Oh, let's be Is nice. I, I won't even repeat what that comment just said. I see it. It's fine. What time y'all going out? Um, What time? Uh, you're meeting us, right? Yes. So I'll be there at like 1230. I got to see what time we're leaving. Um, period. <laughs> yes, girl, get Rick's ass on here. Rick, where you at? Are you at, Rick? Stop being rude. Come on. But I know we got to uplift our black women, man. Just because we don't agree with some of the things that we say, it does not mean we can't still be positive and uplift each other. Because everybody has different opinions. Everybody handles things differently. So, yeah. Let me know. Right, and you don't know the whole story. Just saying. Like, <laughs> editing is... It's wonderful. serious. Over, because I could be smiling about something, and they'll make it look like I'm smiling about something that you said was rude. Thank and I'm just you. like, I was smiling about something totally <laughs> different. So don't believe everything you see editing-wise, guys. Right. Shay. I see a comment saying, Shay's what we call a fun girl. Oh, well, that's cool. I, I am a very, very fun girl. You are. She is. I know you already clarified, Shay, but when I was watching the show, I had immediately said the same thing. I said, do you even know that if Shay and Mike even had that discussion prior yeah. to the, the present mm -hmm. moment like of him being like, oh, the child's gonna come live with us. So, I was with you from day one. And Thank you. He and my fiance got into a little mm -mm about it. I was just like, listen, I'm just saying, she probably didn't even know because mm -hmm. that's how I think. So, mm -hmm. I was with you day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, you know, like, we have a certain personality, and what Mike doesn't ever want to say is we party all the time, we travel all the time, we're always out to eat, we're always out with friends, we're always hosting things at our place. Like, if you want to say that you want to have a child live with us, that changes our entire life. So, for you to act like it's just okay... To say that at any time, I don't feel like that was cool for me. Surprise. Because <laughs> <laughs> the TV the person. The TV portrayed the property. I right. Mean, it is, I mean, it, you know, and I understand why people have certain perceptions, but that's all they see on the TV. But they is not as So, and you right. know, I'm and me and Ashley was like, Shay, come on. Like, I'll let you know. Don't try to Yes. I loved your your new outlook on this episode. Can you guys still hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, I loved your new interview. You're like, oh, I'm not going to cry this time, but you go let me know. <laughs> What's up? I loved it. I was like, oh, yes, go to me. Everybody says that literally. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if you can join Ashley. What do you do for a living? I am an implementation consultant, so I'm in IT. Oh, and we are going, <laughs> Mimi keeps asking where we're going tonight. We're gonna be at Love Too Lounge. And Mimi, if you come, you know you got, I got you. Okay, we just addressed what Shay said on camera. I think you kind of missed it. Um, somebody just said we're live, but we're not addressed. He addressed it. Like, it came on, what, at like 11 ish? He was on a long time because Ashley had an issue. But he definitely addressed the issue. For Peter. More than welcome. Talking about with the whole with the child situation. I had that conversation with Mike, kind of. Did you hear me? Sorry. No, what'd you say? Somebody was saying that we're going live, but we're not addressing the issues. And I was like, well, we just talked about it, but I guess whoever just came on, they just joined, so they missed the whole, whole spill. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it all, but... <laughs> um. So if anybody missed it, I just said, Mike was saying that I need to be a stepmom to his child that I've only met a couple of times because we live in different states, but he wasn't on board with getting married. So if I'm not going to be your wife, then I'm not going to be anybody's stepmom. That's just how that is going to be. And if people don't understand that, then that's okay. If you're doing that, you're, you know, a different type of person that I am, but you're going to marry me before I create a relationship with a child because I love children and I understand the responsibility that comes with that. Yeah. Um, but before I create that relationship, I, you've got to let me know that you want to get married to me. And, you know, we're going to be a family living mm -hmm. in a house, not <laughs> just doing it. Right, right. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, thank you. Somebody asked you, are you and Mike still together? They're not in the same house, so we at Mike's house. Shit. We are, I feel like Mike and I are doing the best we can under the circumstances. So, you know, we're on the show, we're going on dates. If people feel some type of way, meaning him and I, about our dates, then we have to go through that. And we have to go through all of the comments and all of the commentary that's going on around the show. So, you know, we're, we're navigating that the best we can right now. Someone said, you want to do what you want to do, and he's supposed to just take it. No. So, I never did anything. And Whitney, Whitney is very fine. I want people to stop using Whitney as a way to attack me because Whitney is a beautiful, oh, oh, beautiful girl. No, no we were, Whitney. Is, Whitney. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we were on the show together and her, her name on the show was Whitney. So when I, uh, I think they're talking about her. you to clarify like 
what was the issue between you and Vince to why you were so emotional during the entire thing? Until now, you, you've yeah. taken it back, but why did you feel that way at first? Um, well, when me and Vince first got together, well, I wouldn't even say we got together. We were just friends. We were friends for a minute, and during the time that we were friends, another girl, I think I said, she hit me up and she was like, hey, I'm in a relationship with this guy, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't know he's in a relationship. He didn't tell me anything. I'm going to fall back. Of course, I went to Vince about it. And he was like, oh, I don't know who this girl is, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, let me fall back. So I fell back. Um, I did my thing. He did his thing, whatever. A couple of months later, we hooked up, not hooked up, but you know, we started talking again i guess just checking in on each other and we started hanging out he was telling me he was telling me she's gone there's nobody so i want to say maybe like a month or two later we got into a relationship um and everything was fine i you know i didn't suspect anything anything so i want to say a month after we made it official the girl hit me up and she was like well i just want to let you know that me and Vince, we were in a relationship here are the text messages exchanged between each other. And I was like, oh, okay, so this is what we do with me? So I did. <laughs> Again. And people are always saying, oh, Tamika is insecure. She doesn't know her worth. Let me tell you, baby, I left this dude. And I did not look back. I want to say, what, four or five months later, we um, he reached out to me. Well, I mean, the time that we were broken up, he would text me every day, apologize. Say, you know, I want to see you. I want to see you. And I was like, no, you already proven to who you were to me. I don't want to see you. So a couple of months went by. And besides all that, he was still, like, a cool dude. So I was just like, okay, let me go talk to you. So we had a conversation. I was like, well, you need to lay everything out on the table um, and just tell me what happened. The thing is, he apologizes, but he's still not holding himself accountable for what actually went down. Yeah. So he could apologize, but I feel like it wasn't genuine. So, of course, I was still hurt by it. Granted, I shouldn't have went back to a situation knowing that I wasn't still fully healed from what happened. I mean... I don't want to say I was fully healed because I was I was just angry. So, yeah. I mean, so I mean, part of that was my fault as well, going back into it, knowing that I still was kind of weary about what was going on. Um, so that's pretty much where we were. The reason we went on the show is because, like everybody, we was at a standstill in the relationship. He's, he's you know, trying to prove to me that he's being faithful, he's changed, all this other stuff. But I'm the one that's like, yeah, you, you have changed. You've done a complete 180, but... You know, it's still something that in the back of my mind is like, well, you lied to me the whole, the whole first couple of the year that, you know, you and I were getting to know each other. Like, how do yeah. I know? Then I kept finding up, finding out stuff after that. Even though it was two years into the situation, I was still finding stuff out that happened a year when we were first talking. I was like, well, dang, you said this, but you didn't say this. Yes. Much. Um, I so, got that feel from you guys, too. Yeah. And it's like the, the type of person she knows, the type of person that I am. <laughs> when I am upset, I cry. So it's not that I'm crying because I'm weak. I'm just so pissed. And she cries. Yeah. Like, I have two moves. I'm crying. Either when I'm upset, I'm either crying or I'm smiling. When I'm smiling, you better run. <laughs> but if I'm <laughs> and I'm mad, you say. So yeah. <laughs> you can call me a crybaby all day, but that's fine. That means you're safe. So you're yeah. safe in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the camera, baby. <laughs> It would have been a whole different show if I was pissed off and smiling, girl. I'd have been like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I know. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I think that you got a lot of people in check about how you were feeling, so that's I, good. I don't really. People can honestly think what they want to because that's all they're showing on TV kind of thing. So at first it bothered me when people say, oh, Tamika whines too much. She does this too much. And I'm like, that's a part of me. I do cry. I'm sensitive. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm open to my my <laughs> my sensitive side. But, you know, it, it's... It and see, is. that's what we're different to because I do not cry. Like, I don't care what happens in life. I never cry. I always got, like, the stupid-ass smirk on my face. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, <ain't it. laughs> Right. So, yeah, that's me. Nah. Dr. Nicole. But we have got to get to this place, girl. Oh, yeah. We All right. Thank you guys. And then, oh, yeah. And Dr. One more thing. Another thing that makes everybody super emotional is because somebody just mentioned Dr. Nicole. Like, Dr. Yeah. Nicole dig deep into your soul and have you regurgitated so much stuff that you've suppressed and you thought you had gotten over that's another reason why i was crying because i was like oh this is making me angry all over again yes 
saying that she was crying because of certain things too. So it's like things you've gotten past and every day we're talking about it over and over for like six hours. And yeah. Day. But Shay still was keeping it cool. She was like, <laughs> yeah, they wasn't going to get no tears out of me because I do that ugly cry. So I'm like, I got to be cute on camera, okay? <laughs> so, but yeah. As we are about to go. I think Ashley is still on her live if you guys want to jump on hers. Um, she is Creole One Queen? Yes. Creole One Queen. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you at the club. All right, see you later. Yeah, bye. All right, bye. Thank you, guys. Thank That's you, boo. Somebody say y'all have fun. Bye, bye